being a Proverbs 31 woman broke my marriage. What should I do? Hello and welcome back. It's your favorite girl Vicky. How are you guys doing? Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl Vicky. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are all doing great. So if you are new here, you are welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video story 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 so today let's do story time from the story this lady told me so she said being a proverbs 31 woman destroyed my marriage i was like are you sure about what you're telling me so she went ahead and started narrating so before i go into it let me just read from the bible a proverbs 31 woman this is it i'm reading from the book of proverbs the woman who fears the lord sorry my eyes are a bit itchy who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies the heart of her husband do it safely trust in her doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life verse 13 says she seeketh wool and flax and walketh willingly with her hands i'm reading from the king james version of the bible verse 14 says she is like the merchant ships she bringeth her food from afar verse 15 she riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens verse 16 she considereth a field and buyeth it with the fruit of her hands she planted a vineyard verse 16 she guided her loins with strength and strengthened her arms so guys let us discuss that is what the bible says and according to this lady they live in somewhere abroad so she's been married to this man for 10 years they have been living together and you know one thing with africans we always want to invest back home most africans want to invest back home for obvious reasons people have different reasons why they want to buy lands why they want to build houses why they want to invest in their home country some people are not particular about that they don't find it important they don't find it necessary to for them to invest in their home country so it's not a priority for everyone so some people when they travel abroad they get to buy their homes where they live in the usa in canada they don't see the need why they should buy a house why they should build a house in their home country because i'm um, talking of that i've come a lot i've come across a couple of people let me say i've come across some nigerians who live abroad they have built flats in nigeria but here in europe they don't have documents all the money they make they don't want to concentrate they are just concentrated in building flats so sometimes i ask why are you particular about building i say so make my mother proud make my mother proud the house you have in africa is more better than the one you live here why because i think you should give yourself that pleasure in living in a comfortable home if you can afford it why not or are you doing that because you want to please people that people should know you're doing well meanwhile where you live you don't even have documents if they say follow this procedure pay this amount of money to a lawyer so they follow the procedure for you to get documents 
you don't want to go and seek asylum you don't want to you're just there living in a country illegally how don't ask me how to get their money okay coming back to this story so this lady said they have been living together this man is not particular about buying a house in africa she has been living with the husband working the husband is working they got a home in they got a home where they live they bought it took a mortgage should have been paying it working together kind of paying their bills together and this woman said we have our own different priorities after paying or giving her own participation in the home monthly because she has an income the change that she gets she says she made her savings from it because the money she's making she said i'm not the type who likes partying i don't go out once in a while i go to church um that's the only place i go to so i don't spend a lot of money in buying clothes and shoes the shoes i mostly have are sneakers don't get me wrong i have good sneakers comfortable ones because i need comfortable shoes due to the nature of my job so after participating it's not like i stole my husband's money to go and build a house no i got it from my savings and while living with a man i um, I was also participating in the home. I was also participating, getting close for the children. But as a woman, women don't spend like men. If you give me 10,000 francs, I will not spend everything out of it. Before I spend it, I will make sure there is some three or four K that I have kept it safe somewhere. So at a point in time, she, she saw that she's gotten some money in her account so she decided to purchase a property in their home country and the the motive of this was to use it for business purposes so she went ahead to purchase the property in her mind she wasn't doing anything wrong it was not her husband's money it was from her savings so she said she's a christian and the bible says a proverb 31 woman she sees a piece of land she goes ahead she buys it and so on so she said she had a mentality in mind after seeing this piece of uh, property she bought it and she had to pay in two installments so after paying for the property she didn't know how to inform the man because when you want to talk her, why not why don't you get a property she said no 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 i'm not interested in that i don't need it why would i want to get a property in africa when i don't live there even when i go on holidays highest is two weeks and i'm back in the diaspora so the woman says since the man is not particular she's not interested in getting a property why don't her invest for herself and maybe for her children we have different destinies we have different ambitions in life the fact that you're married will not make you to forget your dreams to forget your ambitions what you have proposed in life because coming to europe she um she had her plans she wanted to work make a life out of out of yeah so after that she got this property she was still living and one day she told the man that i've been keeping this from you for a while i don't know it's not a bad thing i did so the man asked her to borrow her some to lend her some money how much i would need like thank you the woman said she doesn't have that kind of money and eh, why not at all you have been saving yes i've been saving but i use the money to get a property the man got upset he was so offended and they kept having issues every now and then this woman had to confide in a close family friend of close family friends to the family and it was someone the man respects a lot so she had to confide in the man and the man said but why will you do that and she was like uncle i did not steal from my wife but it was from my savings so those money i had that money saved in my account what was i supposed to do with it i just had to invest it in something what did i do so the problem went every day different angles 
and until they had to go their separate ways so the question she was asking is where did she go wrong so guys i said let me leave this one here maybe you know someone maybe you know someone who is going through such a situation what is the advice that you can give to that person because she says she has lost the marriage and i was like did the man actually leave just because of that maybe he has been wanting to leave for a very long time because i don't think that is enough reason because the man was like if you can do this kind of thing it means that you can find me eh, kind of kind of talks the side talks started coming and so on and so forth so where did the woman go wrong please leave your thoughts about this in the comment section down below because i'll try to to think Shall I put my antennas? I can't seem to figure out where she went wrong. So if you think she is wrong in what she did, please leave it in the comment section. Let's discuss. And so if there's another woman, she will not make this kind of mistake. If she wants to get something of that nature, she has to inform the husband. So what do you think? If I have something that I have to do, it is my money. And do you think my husband's consent or your partner's consent is needed for you to make an investment with your money or the money you have been saving for some time? So, guys, if you've watched up to this extent, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Leave your thoughts about the video in the comment section down below if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you and for my returnees thank you so much for always coming back to watch our videos thank you we appreciate you every view every like every comment we appreciate you thank you so much so i would like to see your reactions in the comment section down below thank you for watching bye and see you in our next video We'll be coming with part two of this discussion because it is really long and complicated so let's it's a wrap for now so guys if you've watched up to this extent thank you so much for watching bye and see you in our next video bye